Mario. In three, two, one. You must have dealt with these pilots and these aviators writ lo- you know, ad nauseum. Did you ever come up with any, you know, call signs for yourself or for them? Was there anything that they, uh, you know, that they looked at? You, you know, we could never, uh, I don't know if we could ever beat any of the call signs they actually had. <laughs> and I'm sure you understand all. Yes, very much so. We could never beat those um, because they obviously <laughs> typically come out of some embarrassing incident that these mm-hmm. folks have had in their life. And then it's one of those things. They go to this review board where everybody just starts throwing out names. And the one that you react the most negatively to is the one that you were going to be called for the rest of your life. That's right. The rest of your, well, actually, the rest of your life. A lot of these folks was also amazing. They, like, they call each other their call sign, whether they're in uniform, out of uniform, retired, still active, no matter what. Uh, so I don't think we could ever beat any of the names that they came up with for themselves. But we definitely tossed around names for us. I think we all came up with like, like I called I called Lewis Ralph for a little bit because you know he had an issue keeping his, uh, his breakfast down every time he flew. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we called we called Monica Marlboro uh, just as a nickname for her for for Monica Barbaro uh, and also she was just like a pack of cigarettes she was just cool you know what I mean yeah uh, we somebody called me cheeks for a while which I did not appreciate um, they tried to make fun of me because they said my butt ate up the entire flight suit every time I stood up I didn't really appreciate that I did start running uh, my butt has gotten a little smaller since then I've, I've had a bigger flight suit, so uh, they can't call me that no more.